Hello. The game is Diablo 4, open beta, and I'm here to talk about the Necro. So I've got my Necro to 25, and just got my Golem, and I uh, just kind of want to talk about uh, the game, Necro, and what I've experienced. So I think overall, um, I think the Necro is pretty strong. Um, it reminds me very much of the Necro in Diablo Immortal. The pets even look like the Necros in Diablo Immortal. You have your mages like Diablo Immortal. Uh, just got my go gob uh, goblin. Just got my uh, golem. And yeah, it's uh, interesting. So what you have is an ability to raise your skeletons, which also will raise your mages. And then once everything's raised, when you use a corpse, it'll bring up your priest, and your priest gives everybody like a little buff. Uh, what is it? Uh, boom. Skeleton Priest gives, um, empowering them, gives them 20% damage and healing them for 10%. So it gives them a little heal. So you gotta consume corpses to heal your guys. Now, these guys will take damages, damage, my mages will take damage as they're casting, because that's what type they are. Let me get into them. Uh, well, before I get into that, and then Golem, I just got Golem. That's its own separate key. So now Golems, uh, which I haven't really played with a lot, but, um... Unstoppable taunts nearby enemies and takes oh so he's a nice tank basically. Um, he feels powerful. He's like smashing stuff. Um, ah, and it sheds corpses. That's nice. But it takes its own key, so you, you can't have you, in order to have everything out. You got to use another key, which Necros are already strapped. Uh, so we only really have one, two, three, four active abilities now. If you want to keep your pets out both pets. So if you want to have your skeletons and mages, then you're going to need to use an ability. If you want to have your golems, you need to use your ability. So that's the downside to Necros. If you hear people say, oh, Necros are so powerful! It, you know, for running easy, limited difficulty, under 25 content, yeah, they're, they're going to pwn it. They're just going to steamroll it. Uh, so don't listen to those streamers out there about any classes. This you got to keep that in mind. I can't stress that enough. I made a video about it last week. All these streamers calling for nerf for wizard, buff for uh, barbarians, uh, nerf rogue, nerf necromancer. You know, don't listen to any of that stuff. Um, the game cha will change. 100% will change as you can get abilities. This is very limited as a trial. So I don't want to get into that, but that's the downside of necromancers. But I think overall, I think they're pretty strong, and I see a lot, just, I see a lot of how they're designing this in my head, um, where you'll be able to make a lot of different builds and a lot of variation, um, and you're gonna have to sacrifice some spells if you want pets, or you can sacrifice your pets if you want to go a non-pet build or something like that, so, let me show you the Book of the Dead, right? Close that. So you have your warriors and your mages, which are kind of one button, uh, and then you have your golem, which is another button. So there are your three you can have active. Two. Um, hello, Daisy. Um, two. When you get in here, you can change your different. Um, let me move over here, away from the combat, so I can talk. You can change the different type of warriors you got, right? So these are skirmishers, more damage, a little more squishy. These are defenders, so they're going to do a little less damage, but they're going to uh, be a little tougher. These are reapers. They got little scythes. I think they do, like, AoE big hits. I found them to be a little squishy. I like skirmishers in this game because it's limited difficulty, so uh, they don't die that much or anything, and um, they're good tanks. So I really don't need defenders except for one time. I was fighting a boss, and I, I couldn't kill him, and I had to switch to defenders, and it worked. The defenders uh, reduced the damage that they took and were able to stay alive long enough to let me keep them replenished, to allow them to keep tanking and defeat the boss. Um, for your skeletal mages, shadow is what you start out with. A um, little extra attack is what I picked. Um, Cold, I didn't really use that much. I'm just not big into CC, but, you know, I imagine with CC builds, it'll be good. Uh, Bone uh, Mage basically eats its own health to do more damage, so it's not that hard to keep it up, and if they die, it's not a big deal. You just use another corpse to summon them, so I've been using Bone. And then Golem, I don't know what Blood or Iron is, um, because I can't get to that level. 25 is cap. 
but right now I just have it so it's pulling thorns. That's by the way I see a big opportunities for deckers to be have like thorn build where you're just reflecting damage back or you know something's hitting on your pets and they're just taking massive damage. I definitely see that being a viable build. Um then you can sacrifice, right? So if you sacrifice, you can't summon a golem, but you get a specific uh, thing. Like that one's attack speed. Mage is, what is this? Uh, maximum essence is increased by 15, which isn't a lot. 15% increased damage to vulnerable enemies. That might be nice if you're making a vulnerable build. Uh, overpower damage increase. You're making a build that deals with overpower. That'll be nice. You don't want pets. Um, critical strikes increased. 15 non-physical damage resistance, 10% increased shadow. So a lot of, lot of, I see them building a lot of variables and options into this class. Um, I like all the core skills. I'm using decompose right now. Decompose. Anybody? Anybody know where that's from? You're an 80s kid if you know where that's from. Um, so I'm using that because I have a legendary that supports it. I'm using Blight because I have a legendary that supports it. But all these were nice to use. All these were nice to use. My favorite was Sever, Blight, and Bone Spear felt powerful. This is AoE. Um, this is like a, a dot, uh, you know, single target dot. So I didn't use these much, but I could see all these being useful depending on the build you're using. And then going down into your corpse... Um, and your, what is that, macabre uh, skills. Um, these are nice. Um, you have your little 45% life and damage bonus. So I pumped pump points into my pets there. Pump points into my mages here. They got one for Gollum down here. That I don't have enough points to put more into. But uh, one thing I don't like about these skills, so... Blood Mist is nice, it's like really great for the world boss, by the way. Uh, my kid, we, me and my kid were doing a world boss, and he was like, Use Blood Mist, you can use it when he does a swipe, and you're just involved. So, 100% he was right about that, very useful. Bone Wall's nice, there's some legendaries that support it, make it even nicer. But one thing I don't like is Corpse Explosion. I, I don't like Corpse Explosion, and here's why. Because it's so good. It's so good, and every Diablo Necromancer... Yeah, you know, when you think Diablo Necromancer, you think pets, and you think Corpse Explosion. That's that's what you think. That's what I think. But I I'm n I was never a big fan of Corpse Explosion. I always try to make builds that don't use Corpse Explosion. But it's so powerful, you can't. And you'd be silly to not use it. So that's the only thing I don't like about it. It's very powerful. And corpses are very easy to generate in this game. A lot of, the, a lot of your abilities will generate corpses, so... Corp Explosion to me is like a must. I'd imagine there's going to be builds that don't have it, but uh, I, I just wish there was more viability here at this level. Keeping in mind that, uh, you know, this is only level 25. And then we came down to the curses, were both nice. At one point I was running both these curses full, full, fully buffed. Um, and then I had like the two curses here, Corp, Corp Explosion and then my, my Builder and my Spender, right? Is what I was doing. Uh, so they're both very nice. There's a lot of synergies with Corpse Explosion. The heck is that? Why is something attacking me? I'm not doing nothing. Uh, a lot of synergies with like doing extra damage to you know um, slowed mobs and stuff like that. So that was nice. Getting down into here, I didn't like Bone Spirit much. Uh, I just don't want it. It eats all your essence to do to send one shot out that does like an AOE explosion. <clears throat> I guess that's probably good. Let me get a drink. My throat's getting really dry. <clears throat> so, um, I guess that'll be good for, like, you know, a build that generates your uh, essence fast or something like that. You can just blast Bone Spears. Then it's going to be great. Uh, corpse Tendrils, I liked. Um, I would use them. I, I really liked it. It's, it's nice. Uh, it stuns. It does damage. There's one in here, I think. Uh, yeah, it, it's like a guaranteed vulnerable stat, which is rare in this game. Like, it's usually 20% chance to be vulnerable. On the fourth hit, it'll be vulnerable. Yeah, stuff like that. So, Necromancer has a lot of make things vulnerable. Types. Not a lot, but it has 
really good make things vulnerable skills and this is one of them I don't use it limited bar I don't want to put points into it um, I don't use these which are like you know they buff your three types of skills um, because they're three points each and that's just you don't have that many points right now so I would imagine in end game builds you're gonna be like filling these out right Going down to uh, Blood Wave, Army of the Dead, and Bone Storm. I didn't, haven't really used Bone Storm. It's an AoE. I don't use AoE. I stay away from Oz, but it looks great. It looks like a lot of damage. 800 over 10 seconds on a 60 second cooldown. Looks great. Uh, Blood Wave is cool. I was using that. That's fun. Uh, now that I got my Golem, I probably won't be using it. Um, I just, you know, rolled out a nice little roll of blood and everything took damage. It was really nice. What I was doing was hitting that and that suck them together and then I curse them and then boom I do my blood well golems where my blood was so boom I would do that um so that was nice army of the dead wasn't too impressed with it at all the damage it did or the graphics of it uh, just really wasn't impressed with it at all and that's that's about it I can't get down here so that's that's it I'll do a little bit of playing around here and uh Let's go do this event, and then I think I'll end the video just so you can see what the Necromancer's like. I haven't really played with the Golem that much. I like the fact that he's tanky, but as you can see, it's just super powerful, right? I don't got to do anything if I don't want to. You need help. Heal, heal my dude up. Heal my mages. Oh, these guys are down here doing it. I got to do The corpse, corpse exploded and stuff. But well, I got two other people here. So. That's corpse explosion. Is that what he's doing? Uh, is that whirlwind? Oh no, he's just going around circles. He's doing this. I thought he was a barbarian doing whirlwind or something. up. So legendaries, I don't have many for you. I've this has been a horror. This is probably the least amount of legendaries I've gotten. I think they reduced the amount of legendaries, um, and I failed on the world boss, so I didn't get my legendaries from there. But um, that one I created from the. Um, I think from the dungeons, this one dropped, um, and this one's my buff to decompose, which is why I'm using that. I think I got two in the bank that I don't use, that aren't useful for me. So, very, uh, very minimal legendary drops for me. But even without it, Necromancer's powerful. He, he'll carry you. You don't need a lot to get him going. At least not at this level, at least not this difficulty. The true test of this game, so any, just, I want to touch on everybody, all the streamers calling for nerfs and buffs. They're all crazy. You got one video saying nerf source, you got one video saying nerf necros, you got another video saying buff uh, barbarian, and you got another video saying, but here's the most OP build in the game and it's barbarian. So like, they're, they're all just, they're, they're fighting for clicks. I swear these streamers and YouTubers are turning into, uh, what our news media is or something there. oh events back here. so just keep in mind things are going to change at different levels it depends on the drops that you get how your build feels and and such so um but that's about it hopefully it was kind of informative to you 
It's definitely a very good class. I think my favorite classes... I've never been super big on melee classes unless I could build them into ranged kind of classes like uh, Monk Sun Wuku or something, right? That's not even really a melee class anymore. You're just blowing up the screen. Um, so uh, right now I like the... Um, I like things that aim for me a lot, so I like pets. I don't like having to click on little things. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm getting older. Like click, 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 click. I, actually, I never like that. I, I don't like busy work. I want to be the puppet master, holding the strings, not doing all the, all the individual tasks. Uh, so I like pet builds. I, I like the sor I, so I like the necro. I like the sorcerer with the turrets, which are hydras and stuff like that. It's more my style, play style. So kind of happy that they they seem to be good seem to be fun i did like the druid though he had a nice uh he has a nice earth his earth abilities are nice anyway hope the video was helpful uh check out all my other diablo videos i got tons of gameplay videos with no commentary so if you just want to watch what it's like to play check them out they're in a playlist and um i don't know if i'll be doing any more videos i might do a druid one when I get him to 25, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. This might be my last one for Diablo Open Beta. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Farewell.